Hi, in this video, I'm going to cover how to use the percentile and quartile functions. So what the percentile and quartile functions do is they help you analyze data by letting you determine where values relate uh, percentage-wise to entire data set. So there's a difference between the, using the percentile and quartile, but let me go ahead and cover percentile first. Let's say that we have a range of test scores here. We want to find out how many of these test scores fit within a certain percentile. So the percentile function is basically the percentile word. So you can just type equal percentile, and I'll go ahead and select this one here. And the array is the list of values. So this is the list of values here. I'm going to go and select that. And let's say our percentile, let's say that we want to figure out which scores are in the, which the score that is the 90th percentile. So I'll put 0.9. So the range of data, it has to go from 0 to 1. So from 0 to 1, 0.9 fits within there. So I'll go ahead and close parentheses and press Enter. So that score, this 93.9, would be the basis of the 90th percentile. So if I wanted to do this on a reoccurring basis, maybe I would reference this particular value. So if I want to do the K value, I want to, I want to reference the cell so I can put input a number here anytime I want and it would just change according to that number. I can just reference that cell H3. I might as well put dollar signs in front of the letter or number, so it's always going to reference that cell. If I ever copy it somewhere else, it's always going to reference this cell here. And so, so right now the cell is empty, so it's basically zero, and so it's saying uh, for the percentile value of zero, the score is 24. So anything that is 24 and under fits within the zero percentile. So if I wanted to say, maybe I want to do be more a little, little more lenient, and I say, well, the 80th percentile, it would tell me, well, anything that is 78.4 and below what fits into the 80th percentile. So that's for the percentile value. Let's go into the quartile value. So the quartile value is basically divided into quarters. So it goes from 0 to 4. So it's, it's neatly arranged 0, and then 0 0.25, and then 0 0.5, 0 0.75, and then 100% but it doesn't use percentages. It uses it goes from 0, 1, 2, 3, and then 4. So very similar to the percentile function, it only takes two arguments. I'll put equal and then quartile, and then select this quartile function here. And my array is here A2 to A15, and then the quartile, you can see that it gives you this quartile value here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to reference this cell here so I can just uh, change it anytime I want. So I'm going to go reference this cell. You can see now it references H4. I'll press the F4 key to put the dollar sign in front of the H and 4. So if I ever copy this somewhere else, it will always reference H4. If I didn't put a dollar sign in front, if I copied this formula somewhere else, it will reference another cell, maybe H5, H6. So if I press Enter, right now, of course, it goes back to 24 because it's 0. But I have this little drop down here that's, that selects from 1 to 4. So if I say the third quartile, which is 75%, it's going to give me the value of 75.75. So similar, similar here with the percentile value, if I put 0.75, it's going to give me that same value. So depending on which one you want to use, if you want to use fine-tune it a little bit more, the percentile function lets you fine-tune it a little more. With the quartile function, it lets you put it into the, the buckets of 0 to 4. So how do, can we use this in an example here? So let's say, for example, I want to have a comment here. And let's say that for the quart percentile value, let's make that point. 95%, right? So if I have it at 95%, I can actually create a formula here, an if formula. So I'm going to put equal if, if this value is greater than or equal to this percentile value, and I want to make this an absolute value, press the F4 key to put the dollar signs in front of the D and 2, so when I copy it down, that value doesn't change. But this one will, do, will change. It will go from A2 to A3, A4. So when I do that, my second value, if it's true, I'm going to just write a statement that says you or I'm, this is the 95th percentile. And then if it's false, I'll just put blank. And I'll put a close parentheses, press enter. Let me go ahead and double click this. And that auto fit the cell contents. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this formula down. I'm going to go ahead and double click the fill handle here. And you notice now there's only two values that fit the 95th percentile, this 99 value of, and, of course, this other 99 value. If I want to change the percentile here, I can just change it. Maybe, I, maybe I'll be a little more lenient. I'll put 0 0.85th. So the 85th percentile changes to 82.85. Nothing really changes here. But if I decide to use the quartile system here instead, and I make this 
uh, E, I make this E2, which will reference this cell here, and press Control Enter, and then double click it to copy down. You'll see that the quartile, which is the third quartile, 75%, and then we'll see more of this. Oh, I need to change this statement. So this is going to say this is in the third quartile. All right. And so I'm going to go ahead and double click it to bring it down. So now I, now I notice that these scores were in the four, third quartile. So that's how you would use the percentile and quartile function. So if you wanted to analyze data, a data set in terms of where they relate to percentage-wise, you can either use the percentile function or the quartile function. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.